We begin with a big step forward in the push to get more young people vaccinated against COVID-19. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Griffin. The Food and Drug Administration has just authorized COVID-19 vaccines for children age 5 to 11, but your child can't get a shot just yet. Vaccine advisors at the CDC will meet this Tuesday, November 2nd, to discuss whether they will recommend it. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky will make the final decision. It's the first COVID-19 vaccine authorized in the United States for younger children. Pfizer says a clinical trial showed it provides more than 90% protection against symptomatic disease in children. Vaccines could be administered as soon as the CDC signs off. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson spoke to a local mom and a nurse who says she's hoping for full approval so children can get the shot. Just for safety's sake and kids do survive having COVID better, but their grandmas might not. And so, you know, them being vaccinated and protecting the more vulnerable parts of the population are important too. Christine Scharfenberger has been on the front lines at Eskenazi Health since the pandemic began. Professionally, it's been our lives for the last couple of years. She says health professionals have experienced a lot of heartache watching patients battle COVID-19. We're not seeing vaccinated adults dying like unvaccinated people still and just the recovery um, the long-term effects nobody knows that that's not going to happen to kids as well Scharfenberger has been waiting for full approval to vaccinate young children against the virus today's fda approval was encouraging for her family it's just been a long time coming um i think my nine-year-old is as happy as i am um We've been through a lot personally um, with COVID as far as losing family members. My grandpa died of COVID in, in May of, of 2020 before vaccines were out. Her grandmother, who's fully vaccinated, has been at a local hospital for three weeks fighting COVID-19. I think the vaccine absolutely made the difference between um, life and death between the two of them. She says vaccinating children between the ages of 5 and 11 will help slow the spread. It's time to move on from this and I think the kids are a piece of this puzzle um, as far as them getting back to a normal-ish life and us as a world getting through this pandemic. Upon CDC approval, officials say shots for children could roll out as early as the first or second week in November. Children would receive one third of the vaccine dose given to teenagers and adults. In anticipation of approval, the Indiana Department of Health extended its clinic at the Motor Speedway until November 20th to accommodate the demand. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. The White House says that it will primarily depend on primary care doctors and pharmacies to distribute the vaccines, but noted that it is also working with some school boards to offer doses in schools.